Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and sometimes hair care, which is what we're talking about today. You guys always ask me what products do I use on my hair, what's my hair care routine, and I haven't updated my hair care routine since 2021, which was the last hair care video I did. So I think it's time. I have shaken things up just a little bit, and I'm excited to share it with you. So if you're so ready to find out what I use on my hair, products, tips, and techniques, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump in. So when it comes to hair care, I do like to keep things simple but impactful. I don't want to spend a lot of energy on hair care. I mean, I do spend a majority of my time on skincare, as you know, that's my passion. So I like to keep things straightforward, but I really do believe in investing in quality, foundational hair care products, I really think that those can go a long way for you. And I think it's important to match up your products to not only your hair type, but also to take into consideration the condition of your scalp. This is something that we don't really think about when it comes to hair care. We think so much about like, is my hair manageable? Is it shiny? Is it strong? Is it smooth? Is, you know, is my hair in good shape and moisturized? But we do tend to neglect the scalp unless issues do arise. So I think it's important if you're trying to overhaul your hair care routine to think about your scalp. So for me, my scalp is very much like my face. I mean, it is skin, right? It's an extension of our skin organ. And my face is combination, which is kind of an imbalanced skin type. And my scalp can be rather imbalanced and it can change with the seasons. So it's important to keep that in mind if your, your uh, scalp is a little bit oilier, if it's a little bit more dry, you do want to pick out the right products that are going to suit your scalp type as well as your hair type. And there's nothing more foundational to a hair care routine than shampoo and conditioner, right? It's really important to pick out the right ones because it is going to make or break your hair care routine. So I've been using the Brio Geo Cherry Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner for a while now, um, probably about seven months. And I do really like this and it lives up to the name balancing. I like that it helps to balance and cleanse the excessive oil from my scalp without drying out the ends of my hair, which are prone to to um, being a little bit more dry. They do crave a little bit more moisture, but you don't wanna over moisturize a like slightly oily scalp, right? So I like that this is just a really nice in-between balancing shampoo. And the conditioner is so great. It actually is quite moisturizing, but it's not too heavy and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. So I absolutely love this. It's been keeping my hair in really good shape. I just opened my uh, second set of bottles here. So I am really liking the quality of this. I'm liking what it's doing for my hair. And I think it is actually really great if your scalp is maybe a little bit oily, um, but your ends are a little bit dry. Now I do wanna mention an old time favorite shampoo and conditioner that I really like to recommend and that is the Shiseido Subaki Premium Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. That This is something that I've used for many, many, many years. And if you've seen my old 2021 hair care video, you know that that's what I was using in that video. And I really, really stand by these products. They're a lot more moisturizing than the Brio Geo Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner. So if you're somebody who has maybe more of a dry scalp or even more dry damaged hair, this is actually another product that lives up to its name, Repair. This is very repairing, it's very moisturizing, and I have used this line of shampoo when my hair was really fried from um, color treating it. I went really, really, really blonde many, many years ago, like pre-YouTube, many years ago, and my hair was straw-like, and it was just like, it did not feel like my hair at all. And this shampoo really whipped it into shape. So I wanted to do a shout out to it because it's something I still really, really like. And if you're needing a more repairing, moisturizing, strengthening type of shampoo and conditioner, this is the one I'd recommend. And I forgot to mention the Shiseido Subaki shampoo and conditioner. You can buy refills for this. So you don't always have to keep buying the big plastic packaging with the pump. You can just refill it, which is so good. I think it's great for the environment, but it's also really good um, on your wallet too. So this can be a great money saving technique to get into the Shiseido Subaki shampoo and conditioner. Just keep buying the refills. I just get these off of Amazon. Super duper convenient. I really love that aspect of this shampoo and conditioner. 
So let me quickly talk about scalp scrubs and clarifying your scalp. Cause like I'm saying, it's all about scalp health first and foremost, and scalp scrubs have become really popular um, over the last couple of years. And I haven't found the perfect one yet, but I do really like the concept of them. One that I have enjoyed is the Brio Geo Scalp Revival. This is really cool because this is a really nice scalp scrub that also doubles as your shampoo. So it gives you some really nice clarifying action at the scalp to help break up any buildup of product that you have because sometimes it does build up you can't always get it to wash away uh, really effectively so having that kind of clarifying action is really helpful for bringing back some life and some volume to your hair but it can also be extremely helpful if you do have maybe some flakes um, at your scalp some dry some dry patches it can be really helpful I do enjoy it something I would use like maybe once a month if that um, but but it's just a very occasional thing to kind of keep things really nice and clean at the scalp. The only reason that this is not like my perfect scalp scrub and I am still searching is this has a lot of essential oils in it and that is actually something that makes my scalp really itchy. Um, I have sensitive skin, I am sensitive to essential oils in my skincare products and I am prone to eczema um, and I do get eczema patches on the back of my neck around my hairline so I do have to be very careful careful about that. This hasn't flared up my eczema, but it has left my scalp a little bit itchy. Um, and that's the reason why it's like not the perfect thing. So if you're not sensitive to essential oils, I do actually think this is really great. If it didn't have them, if there was a non-essential oil version of this, this would actually be my perfect scalp scrub. I'm not even like kidding. Like this is so good, but I am just so worried <laughs> about long-term use with this in just my personal skin. So if you know any good um, scalp scrubs that are essential oil free, fragrance is fine, but essential oil free, let me know in the comments because we're all, like I always say, we're always here to help each other out, help your girl out. Um, but scalp scrubs can be really helpful. Now, if you're not looking to invest more money in an additional product, what you could actually do is just shampoo your your hair twice in a pinch. It actually does help a lot if you feel like you have extra oil or buildup. Um, sometimes one shampoo doesn't really get down to that. So it makes sense to you know wash your hair once with shampoo, rinse it really good, and then go in for your second shampoo. You will find that it lathers up a lot more um, and you'll find that you're getting a much deeper clean on your scalp. So you may not need a separate clarifying shampoo or scalp scrub, um, but to keep things simple and to save yourself some money, just double up on your shampoo. So out of the shower, my hair is very, very wet and my hair is long and rather thick and it holds on to moisture uh, quite a bit. So I really like hair turbans. I've been using them for a really long time and I do find that they help to absorb excess um, moisture and water from the hair a lot more effectively than just a regular towel. I mean, old school advice here, but I figure it's worth mentioning. You don't really want to rub a towel on your hair, the friction against wet hair. When, when your hair is wet, it's actually a little bit more vulnerable to damage. So you don't want to use like a towel and rub your hair vigorously. And I do find regular towels just tend to be really top heavy on my head. They tend to fall. They tend to move around a lot. So I love the turban shits for getting my hair up and out of my face so I can do my skincare, right? Um, but I also find a really good material does tend to wick a lot of moisture out of my hair so I can dry my hair a lot faster. I love this Aquas uh, hair turban. I've showed this one to you before. I really like it. I do feel like it does wick a lot of moisture away. And the length of this is really nice because it's uh, very accommodating for longer lengths of hair. Some other turbans that I have are so short. I really have to like just like tuck and fold my hair into it um, to get it to stay in the towel. So this is great for long hair and it definitely holds a lot of moisture. So let's talk about drying the hair because I have to say 90% of the time, um, I don't dry my hair with a hair dryer. I am a huge fan of air drying and it definitely is something that helps with the health of the hair because there's just like one last like exposure to heat for my hair. Um, but a lot of it is just convenience. It's convenient for me to shower at night and let my hair um, kind of dry a little bit in the evening. It really is great for my natural texture and stuff. But quite honestly, it doesn't always work for me, right? Sometimes I do need to shower and go. I have to dry my hair. 
So I was really lucky this Christmas to get the Shark hair dryer. I've been wanting it for a really, really long time and I finally have it and I love it. It's actually making me want to dry my hair with a dryer a lot more. It has cut my drying time in half. Um, it used to take me about 20 minutes to dry my hair, sometimes like closer to 30 depending right um, and this actually cuts it down to about 10 ish minutes which is a huge win for me and I do feel like my hair is just like less frizzy with it overall I'm just really impressed with it it's expensive um, but for me I think it was worth it that being said I do have a favorite budget pick that I've used for many years before I recently just got the shark hair dryer because I'm very lucky it's the con air infinity pro this is the 1875 watts um, and this is awesome because this is actually seems like it's a lot stronger than the other hair dryers I've had in the past and it doesn't dry my hair in like 10 minutes but maybe closer to the 15 20 minute mark I do feel like this is a really good value hair dryer um, without having to spend a lot of money you still get um, a great value and a really powerful motor all right so we really talked about foundational hair care shampoo and conditioner we talked about hair dryers and now I want to talk about hair serums or treatments that you put on your hair after you've washed it. Um, I really have fallen in love with Olaplex um, over the last year or so. My stylist always uses it on my hair when I get it color treated. So I've been using it unknowingly for many years, but I recently started using it uh, more frequently at home. And I really like the number six smoothing serum. I've been putting this on my hair when it's damp out of the shower, and I'm really impressed with what it's done for my hair. So Olaplex it's bonding and that really helps to strengthen your hair um, to make it a lot stronger and to really resist breakage at the ends that's why it's so beloved by stylists for coloring the hair because it really helps to protect your hair in that vulnerable state so I've just been using this anytime I wash my hair and I really like the texture because it's kind of like an airy uh, kind of serum. It's not too heavy on the hair, but it does have just a, a hint of moisture that my hair definitely craves. And I've noticed that my hair is less prone to breakage at the ends, which is huge because that's kind of always the struggle when your hair is a little bit dry at the end. Um, split ends are a lot more possible in that state. So I'm loving what it's been doing to keep my ends really strong, helping me to grow my hair really long and I do have color treated hair I do get it uh, colored frequently so this helps keep it in really good shape a newish hair care product that I really enjoy is the Shiseido Subaki hair milk here comes my old favorite hair care line again now this is great because it has a similar texture to the Olaplex it's kind of that airy serum type of texture but it does pack a lot more moisture in a lightweight format I've usually been a Fan of putting oil on my hair and again if you look at my old hair care video you'll see me putting on 100% um, Subaki oil onto my hair um, I have been kind of keeping things a little bit lighter these days and this is a great lightweight option and I really like to put this on my hair dry you can put it on when it's damp but I find the most effect um, is when it my hair is dry and I really want to smooth out my ends because again, they're dry, they need extra boost of moisture. So I like to use this on my ends and then I'll work the rest of it through the, um, the lengths of my hair. It keeps my hair so like manageable and so soft. And I think it really does actually contribute uh, quite a bit to that shiny, healthy look to the hair too. So I really like this one. Right before I use heat tools, I will put this on because Subaki does actually have some natural heat protection to it, which is great. And it really helps um, to achieve that much more smoother, really shiny look to the hair. So I put some on today before I flat ironed my hair and I absolutely love the results. I'm a big fan of this and it never feels greasy in my hair at all. So I'll do a quick shout out to my favorite hair oil. I didn't use it today, but I do keep this on hand. It is the Oshima Tsubaki 100% oil. And if your hair is in desperate need of moisture, desperate need of repair and strengthening, I highly recommend this oil. Um, Tsubaki oil is an ingredient that is used in a lot of Japanese hair care products, and it has a really long, rich heritage and history in Japanese beauty. And it works so, so well. 
well. There's a reason they've been using it for so long. It works incredibly well to keep your hair very, very strong. This is a great oil that is multi-purpose. I mean, you can absolutely use it on your skin too. It is a great, rich oil for very dry skin, but you can use this um, as a deep oil treatment before you jump into the shower in shampoo and condition. You can leave it on your hair 20 minutes up to an hour to deeply infuse a lot of moisture into it, but you can also use it straight out of the shower to help keep wet hair more manageable. Or like I use the milk, you can um, put it on dry hair before styling to help um, assist with heat protection and smoothing the hair and adding a lot of like silky glossiness. So recently I've been super into like straight, but you know, kind of fluffy hair. And this is definitely the trend now is a kind of like that 90s blowout look. But I have to say, I am just not skilled enough to handle a hair dryer and a round brush at the same time. Like it's just really tough for me. And I'm already a little bit adverse to drying my hair as it is, like I told you. So kind of working a round brush and a hair dryer, like it's just, it's not in the cards for me. It's just not a skill that I have acquired, but I found a workaround that really kind of helps me achieve like some more volume at the root and um, kind of that fluffy look. So what I do is with my dry hair, I use my um, flat iron in sections. So I usually start at the top of my hair if I'm, I find this easier. So I will flat iron, um, you know, like a one inch section of hair. I will round that flat iron right at the end so I get that little bend right at the end. And then what I use are these ceramic Velcro, like self-adhesive rollers. So I found these on Amazon, the brand is Kitsch. And it's really cool because there is a little bit of like a metal component to the core of these, and that helps to retain heat, which helps to get a little bit more of the bend and a little bit more of the lift at the root. So after I have flat ironed the section, I roll it up in the roller, I roll inwards and under. And then I just use these um, curler pins that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply to hold them in place. So it seems like a little extra work, but basically I am mimicking what a round brush does, lifting up at the root and helping to curve at the ends. And the little bit of heat assisted from the flat iron helps to smooth out any frizzies, gives you even more shine on your hair, um, but it also, the heat helps to kind of lock in that bend to the hair. And then I just leave it in for like, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time I have is how I'll leave it in. And then I take it out and like, this is the final result here. So it's really natural, um, but it just kind of gives you a little bit more volume, especially if you um, put the right direction in your curlers to get some of that bump at the back, you get a lot of natural volume without a lot of product. So that's kind of my hack for a really like cool, like sort of salon style blowout look without actually having to achieve the skills of using a round brush and a hair dryer at the same time. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is supplements because this is also something that is becoming a bigger trend um, in the last couple of years, especially as hair care is becoming more popular. There's even more products out there to tempt us product chunkies. I have to say I haven't dabbled too much with supplements, um, but it could be something that you might look into if you feel like you can't grow your hair, like you wanna grow your hair longer, but like it just seems like it's always breaking, like your hair is very weak, it's not strong. It is also something you may be interested in if your hair is thin thinning, um, or if you get a lot of hair fall when you wash your hair, a little bit is normal, um, but if you feel like it's too much and your hair is thinning, it might, um, it might be worth looking into because 100% what you eat, your diet, the quality of it, right? Definitely does affect your hair, your skin, and even your nails. You know, think about your hair as a byproduct or a waste product of your body. Um, and so if you're putting really good high quality nutrients into your body, high quality, nutrient dense, healthy, waste products are gonna come out, right? So that means you're probably gonna have stronger hair, um, stronger nails, etc. right? So first and foremost, if you feel like your diet is deficient in nutrients, try, try that first, because whatever you put into your body is gonna have the most impact, right? As far as like supplementing goes, 
I have found a secondary benefit from taking a probiotic um, for my hair. So I do take the Silver Fern Ultimate Probiotics. I've been taking these for uh, quite a few years now, and I absolutely love what it's done for my gut health and for my digestion. Um, I had mentioned these in a couple of videos ago because I have noticed a link between a healthier, regular digestion and less congestion on my skin. What I, I don't believe I mentioned in that video is taking a probiotic regularly has actually helped with the growth of my hair and my nails. I feel like my hair and nails just grow really, really fast and very strong from taking the probiotic. And definitely, you know, that connection between your gut, waste products, etc. It definitely makes sense. So this is not a hair focused probiotic by any means, but I have noticed a secondary benefit. There are a lot of hair vitamins out there these days. Biotin is a huge one um, that is really helpful for growing your hair a little bit longer and a little bit healthier. So that's it, that's what I do. You guys always ask me about it. So I felt like it was time to update the video. I hope it was really, really helpful for you. Maybe some products or some tips. And there's just some like philosophy around how to take care of your hair. I hope some of this resonated and helped you. Now, if you watched this video through and it was helpful, but you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do hit subscribe before you go. I release a lot of mostly skincare focused, but also beauty focused videos. And I do a long form videos and I do shorts too. So consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.